Stanley is a tank engine who works at Knapford shunting yards on the island of Sodor. He's a very helpful engine, with six red wheels, a tall silver funnel, gleaming brass buffers and a shiny nameplate. He's a hard worker too often getting trains set for engines big and small to take to their destinations. What's the matter, Charlie? My boiler's been aching for hours, and I don't know what's wrong. No wonder you haven't been your wisecracking self. I think I should go to the Stainworks now. I tried weeding it out, but it's getting worse. And what exactly is wrong with your boiler? I don't know. It just hurts and feels dry. No, oh, this happened to me before. Just take some more coal and you'll be fine. Much better. Thanks, Stanley. Any time, Charlie. Oh, I forgot to mention. Stanley also knows a thing or two about engines. He often helps his friends when they're in a bother. Just put some more oil on your wheels, Neville. That'll make them less stiff. Also, make sure there aren't any stones wedged between your side rods. Water must have leaked into your diesel fuel, Paxton. Just take on a fresh batch. Your whistle is fine, Oliver. It just needs to be knocked back into place. Engines go to the steamworks over the littlest of things. Later, the fat controller came to speak with Stanley. Stanley, I've been watching you for a while, and it only just occurred to me that you're quite knowledgeable about engines. Oh, no, 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 sir. I'm not an expert like Victor or anything, I just know a couple of things here and there, that's all. I see. But I've seen you help three engines today, and I think that is very useful. Uh, thank you, sir. The fat controller looked around. Stanley, do you remember the repair yard? It used to be over there. Yes, sir, but it stopped being used after the steamworks and diesel works opened. Precisely. Now, I have a proposition for you, Stanley. I'm thinking of restoring it. It'll be used for when engines have minor faults and problems. That's a great idea, sir. There'll be spare parts and whatnot. I'll expand it and put more sidings, so that there'll still be room for your shunting. Think of it as a mini steamworks. And who's going to be in charge of it, sir? You, Stanley. That's the proposition. What do you think? Oh, I... well... Oh, don't worry. You'll still be doing your regular shunting duties. Think of it as a promotion. Just continue giving your fellow engines advice and make sure things are running smoothly. Okay, sir. I'll do my best. That's a good engine. Now, I'm off to make the arrangements. I want you to collect spare parts from the steamworks and the diesel works and bring them here. Stanley, my friend, what can I do for you? A truck of spare parts, please, Victor. What for? The fat controller is restoring the repair yard. Oh, very nice. In that case, you can have that flatbed over there. 
What's the matter, my friend? The fat controller wants me to be in charge of it. Shouldn't you be happy about that? I am. I'm just... I'm just nervous is all. He did say I'm quite knowledgeable about engines. Really? I had no idea. No, no. I know a few things here and there, but I'm not an expert like you or Den and Dart. Who said I'm an expert? You are? Of course not, my friend. Do you think I was perfect on day one? In fact, I'm still not perfect. There is no perfect. Just last week, I lost a flatbed that had Emily's new buffers. Turns out I left them behind at the transfer yard. I'm sure she wasn't pleased about that. She wasn't, but I collected it the next day. When I first arrived, I was just a humble shunter who brought parts. I made mistakes of course, but I got better, learned how engines worked, and now I'm in charge of this place. Wow, you sure are something, Victor. Nowadays, Kevin here is the one who keeps making a ruckus, but even he is trying his best at improving. By the way, how did you learn about how engines work? I, uh, I used to break down a lot on my old railway. The workmen at the works were really nice and they'd talk to me while I was fixed. They would give me tips and tell me what to do if something went wrong. I was always in the works, so I'd overhear them giving advice to Diesels, too. I suppose I picked up a couple of things that I still know to this day. Interesting. Thomas told me that you were a newly built engine when you arrived. Not at all. Before I came to Soda, the workmen gave me a complete overhaul. Well, Stanley, my advice for you is to keep your funnel high and do your best. Don't beat yourself up if you make mistakes, you'll forget things out in no time. Thank you, Victor. I appreciate it. Anytime, my friend. Good luck. After his little chat with Victor, Stanley felt much better. He collected parts from the diesel works and made his way back to the yard. The next day, construction officially began. Soon, the job was done. This repair shed will be used for engines with small issues. Stanley will always be around if you need assistance. What will you name it, sir? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yes, Charlie? What about Stanley's workshop? Not bad. Well, sir? Stanley's workshop it is! Stanley is now busier than ever. Not only does he shunt, but now he has a repair shed named after him, where he'll continue to help his fellow engines. And Stanley couldn't be happier. <laughs>